Kevin Lamb, guitarist of Trimore Mojo, uh, my, and my name's Leland Cratcher, and uh, I play some keyboards, but officially, on official business here, I represent Evan Lamb. Hello, my name is Cody Austin. I was not good enough to play guitar, so I played <laughs> bass in Trimore Mojo, and I am a representative of um, Medric Meds Greeley of Trimore Mojo. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys for introducing yourselves and uh, for your uh, introductions for those you're representing. Of course. Uh, who are not in, in your, your seats today. No, um, we wouldn't allow I don't, that. I, uh, there's, there's a hand from one of them right here. Uh, no, Let's, get out of here. Yeah, we, didn't uh, we didn't talk about that. We got to discuss that with legal. <laughs> but these guys, you know, were nice enough to sit down and, and let me ask them stupid questions for a couple minutes before we get going. And uh, actually, what's even cooler is they're, they're going to stick around until after the show to answer your questions, uh, which I'm sure will be a lot better than mine. So please start firing those off like right now in the comments. Yeah, uh, we're going to take some time to sit down with these guys after the show and answer all kinds of great questions. Um, first, let me just say thank you guys. Tremendous thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, uh, brother. Again, for streaming <laughs> from Artco again. Like we're, Happy we're, to do we're it. Very fortunate to have you guys here. We love, we love Trimar Mojo. These guys are amazing. Uh, they're, they're phenomenal players and just the nicest people you ever meet. So uh, thank you. Really looking forward to you guys enjoying them this evening. Uh, I have one pretty simple question for both of you guys, and you don't have to speak for your, your associates okay. right now. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but sounded like but a dude from the because, Muppets because I know at least one of their answers. <laughs> uh, but how have you guys been keeping sane? How have you been keeping your marbles in all of this madness that is the COVID nineteen insanity? Uh, it's you know as with for everybody, I think it's been a bit of a struggle in some days. There's the high days and there's the low days. Days like this definitely being the high days. You know, getting to come and share the energy with the right number of people in a good, safe way and be able to share that with all of you at home as well. And knowing that we can do that is definitely something I look forward to to kind of keep me through the darker days. Um, but it's just been trying to use the time for some self-reflection on like what I want to do and how we want to proceed as a band and how we can be better as people and whatnot. And um, So some of the kind of the classic stuff, I suppose. But uh, other than that, just uh, trying to find different ways to stay involved musically and uh, in the community as well, as best as possible. Right on. What about you, Cody? And I haven't. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't been, actually. I, I, found that, I, found that, um, I found that smoking meats has given yeah. me a new uh, purpose in life, you know, if you will. Um, I, uh, I, I joined a, uh, a group on Facebook called North Texas Barbecue Addicts, Hollow, and... Um, and you know what? Those are just a great group of guys that, you know, they don't, they don't tell you how bad you're doing. They, they, they try to lift you up. And, and, and uh, I, I'm just kidding. I, I've been very scared to post any of my, <laughs> any of my food on there. But, uh, but it's, it's, been a, it's been a really, really fun. I feel like, you know, finding a hobby, like, outside of music has been really good for me. I mean, you know, obviously I've been playing a bunch. And uh, you can hear it because I'm really good now. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close to, and to over- modest, way more modest than you yeah. used to be yeah, too, way which more is modest amazing. Now. Uh, I'm, I'm really close to overtaking Evan on guitar, so he'll be switching to bass uh, eventually. And, um, and anyways, uh, but yeah, so I, I think finding a hobby, man, is has been really, really helpful for me in this. And uh, smoking meat, barbecue, Texas style all day, salt, pepper, garlic, salt. That's all you need, man. Okay, other, other, uh, I got to go back to Cody real fast. Other than the obvious, like, you know, some sort of famous pit master, um, who would you like to have guests perform with y'all tonight? If you could pick anybody, living or dead. If you could just say. Oh, dude, that's. Just okay. one. So uh, this, I like to stump people. They didn't even know this was coming. Prince? Yeah. That's a great, that is a great response, I would response, love to have sir. Prince tell me how bad I am. <laughs> like, I would take I, that. I would, I would love for him to be like, oh, no, you know what? I'm going to call Mono Neon. He's actually. <laughs> I'd, I'd be fine with him just critiquing how terribly I dress. You know, that'd be I, any any criticism for Prince would be welcome criticism. Yeah. I yeah, think that's fair. That's fair. Oh man, Cody, man, I don't know. You set the bar pretty high. Um, James uh, uh, Man, we could be like John Mayer and have Dave Chappelle. Ooh. Having Dave Chappelle come on stage that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, who else? Who else would be cool? A lot of people, man. Yeah, I'm not. 
I'm pretty sure the mic didn't pick that up, but that's okay. That's good. Well, that's we'll a good thing. Go back he, he said it, it was you have to go back for the whisper section yeah, on that one. <laughs> well, uh, you'll have to really read the lips. You'll have to read his lips and, and find out. Um, yeah, I think having Dave on stage would be pretty cool. That'd be yeah, awesome, man. I'll, I'll take Dave Chappelle. Um, well, I got to say, uh, I really appreciate you guys taking time just to sit down and, and just chat for a little bit. Um, want to wish a, a very happy birthday to our uh, dear friend uh, Bates. Does who that. Is, um, who is celebrating his uh, 28th birthday today, I believe. So happy birthday to him. Happy birthday. Uh, and, and soon to be Jay's birthday next week on Monday. So Jay stay. We'll be celebrating him as well. Smoking uh, with strangers. Yeah, lots of smoking with strangers coming soon. Um, we hope. Anything else from you guys you want to talk about right now? You want to get, you want to get into this? You want to do it? Yeah, we just love Arco. We're happy to be here. Let's play. Well, I'm excited. I get to mix you guys tonight. So if it's terrible, you guys be <laughs> sure to blame Evan because he's the one that's setting it up. I'm just going to go back there he's and make some go really tweak. small yeah, adjustments. And just make sure that's it. Hey, now. That's all. So actually, you know what? If it sucks to start with and then it's, it's better, then I'll take the then, credit. Exactly. That, that's but perfect. But if it just if it just sounds great the whole time, <laughs> it was still Evan. Yeah, and so just make sure, like, you know, like we said, we'll be around after the show also doing one of these. So if you have any questions or any comments, leave them for us. Yeah. We'll try to see stuff what we can and during the show as well and uh thank you guys we love you donate to art co donate what you can help support all of us in the independent venues and keep yourself safe and let's play some music let's yeah, do this that sounds yeah. like fun cool thanks guys Hi there, Mike Kerbin here, talent buyer from Deep Elmar Company and owner of Time to Fly Music. Just want to send a special shout out to John and Carrie LaRue um, and all the Art Co. family and crew. I love you all very much and appreciate this journey we've been on. Uh, much love and respect to all the artists we've had the pleasure of working with, uh, especially Sput and my boys in Trimore Mojo. Uh, really appreciate the, all the good shows we've had and look forward to more as soon as we can. Um, please enjoy uh, all the live streams Arco has to offer from the comfort and safety of your home and donate if you can to help keep this beautiful venue going. We truly appreciate all the friends and fans of the, of the venue that give us support and uh, just want to express our gratitude. Uh, so thank you very much and uh, enjoy the shows.
Goody. your garden would you drink it dry if i'm in marbles as an artist would you know it's mine if i took my herbs put it down the middle just a little would you do something to stick a list and blow my high if i put water in your garden would you drink it dry if i'm in marbles as an artist would you know it's mine if i took my herbs put it down the middle just a little would you do something to stick a list and blow my high how do i make a deal how do i make a meal how do i make it feel like your emotion but still keep it real nah you can only have another yeah, other the way that you burning all them messes like you run a rubber like this motherfucker that motherfucker is high Chance of a stand to the land to the slime, the van play camp, swimming through the rivers of time, like I'm out of Mississippi, bitch, I'm never running. There ain't no way to trace in me Took a trip inside my mind and left the vacancy Don't catch me working this dirty hippie is hardcore But I ain't smoking no more, the drag is chasing me Couldn't grasp a hold up, the conscience the mind gets Money from their water in the Mississippi Hold up, don't trust the gold rush And don't rush to get old, so you get old once Hold up, like a latch kick kid Let me spit something smooth on this bag, me shit The man's bank up when I let crack the lid And left me run this track like I have me did I started with stammer and Gemini I should simmer down like when I'm making my mail When I can put the mic Or when I make a booty shake When I pick up this bass And fucking use it Make it so we gotta be the time in
down. Funky music, gonna make it funky music. Get 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 down. Down. Is it get up to get down? The funky music, make it make it funky. Is it get up to get down? Funky music, gonna make it funky. Is it get up to get down? If I put water in your garden, would you drink it dry? If I put water in your garden, would you drink it dry? If I put water in your garden, would you drink it dry?
I hear right. you clapping at home. I hear it. We feel it. We hear it. We feel it. How are y'all, Internet? It's good to see you tonight. <laughs> you smell real good, too. Uh, it's the best smelling crowd we've had in a long time. <laughs> What's happening? Evan's hiding. Oh, he's not hiding. He's not running away. We thought he was running away. All right. Well, this is sort of a new one. Is it still new at this point? It's still new. This one? No? I, okay. I, have we played it. in front of people? No. <laughs> no, we have not. That's the new metric, I guess. I guess that's the new. Well, but these are shows now. So anyway, y'all may have heard it before. And uh, if not, I'd say sing along, but, you know, it's instrumental. <laughs> it's called Ice Cold Fetty.
Mr. Gurley, everybody. God, I love playing that song. Matt Hull, that one's for you. You're welcome. And thank you for liking it, so we got to play it again.
love no people that been so Electric properly phone. Took your words back, so he's fat, that's electric phone. Phone.
one too Just brought that Electric fun Did you survive them? Electric fun Ride on the beat, vibe on me Live on the beat, wanna put it so electric properly fun. Suck your words back, so it's fair There's electric fun Electric fun
much. We are Try More Mojo. Thank you, Artco. Thank you, everybody. Stick around for a little post. -interview. We'll have a little post interview. around for the post interview i was going to say that before <laughs> we kidding. love y'all thank you. you don't go anywhere we're not going anywhere oh you're going to do oh. it with us well look at that that's called first class service <laughs> i'm down uh, let you guys you know get situated hey thank thank you to everyone for Woo. tuning in uh, really appreciate y'all checking in uh, tonight and, and, and watching Mojo's stream. We got a bunch of awesome questions, um, so I'm, I'm honestly I'm surprised. Let these guys kind of break their stuff. To, you know, they're, they're doing. They got stuff eh, going on. We're all right. And, and this, this part of the evening is always, you know, uh, a little touch and go. I call it part of the unpleasantness. Oh. The, the bringing the stuff in and then the process of having to bring this stuff back. That's the out. only part you get paid for. Playing for free. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, unfortunate. You play for free. But, you load uh, for money. But thank you guys. That was freaking phenomenal. Thank, thank you. you to each and every one of you guys. That was an amazing performance. Thank you, Tony. Um, Cody, don't think you're getting out of here that easily because you have questions to answer. The first one of which is, if you were a cheese, which would you be? And this is oh. for everybody, so okay. don't think you're getting off the hook. Medrick, you, you may need to come microphone. over here and talk to me. Yeah. That may be the way to do it. I mean... We determined earlier, fuck feta, right? Like, yeah, that's that is apparently feta is no good. Yeah, it's feta is no good. Um, man, I'm just I don't really queso, queso. That's the most Texas answer queso. I've ever heard. I made ricotta and yoki from scratch last night, so that's real on my mind right now. So you're going ricotta? I'm gonna go ricotta, even though it's not my favorite cheese, but it makes a dank yoki. How about it does. that? <laughs> All right, Medrick, what's your favorite the cheese? Of yoki. Get, no, get on the mic, dude. Go ahead, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Uh, just because of my Mississippi roots, uh, government issued. <laughs> Uh, Crap! <laughs> che cheese product. Cheese product. We don't. We don't. We don't eat that cheese. Cheese down there. Oh my goodness. We eat cheese product. Cheese product. Like Kraft singles. Medrick, what about you, bro? Not even. Not even. <laughs> what you got, Meds? Well, I'm lactose intolerant, so uh, <laughs> vegan. I don't cheese. know what the cheeses vegan are cheese. anymore. <laughs> vegan cheese. Um, you like vegan cheese? There you go. Uh, is that a thing? It's a thing. They make it out of cashews. Know, it's actually really tasty. I don't know. Darren vegan told cheese. me vegan cheese is trash, so I trust I, Darren. Hey, I had some really good vegan cheese queso at Sundown. Shout out yeah. Sundown. Yeah, I, they, they it got was delicious. I'm, I'm cheese illiterate, was, so I'm cheese you, illiterate. you got me. Uh, all right. What, I don't know. Yeah, it was good, though. Okay, that's that's it for the cheeses. That's it for all the right. cheeses. Uh, this is uh, from Zane King. Oh, Shout out Zane. Zane. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, who are your biggest musical influences? This is for everybody. And then Meds, he threw a a, a, a real Bonus a question. real nice one for you. Your top five drummers. He just wants to know your top five drummers. No biggie. No pressure. Okay, we'll let Medrick go last because that'll take 35 minutes. <laughs> um, 500 drummers. Biggest influence, In man. That's a range. Like bands, I mean, modern day bands, we're talking like Dopapod, Spafford, Pigeons Playing Ping Pong. Um, like all the guys who are trying to find new ways to push jam and do things is definitely very inspirational to us. Uh, Pink Floyd for me personally, I absolutely love Pink Floyd. The Doors, yeah, if you can't tell from my sense, I like Pink Floyd. Um, and yeah, I'll stop there. Jesus, Papadocio. Jesus, Jesus is my savior. Let us grow funk from lettuce, <laughs> not not actual Christian Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> just I mean, the he's funk cool Jesus. too, I guess. Funk Jesus, but funk Jesus, funk Jesus, yep. Stevie Wonder. Papadocio. Stevie Wonder is the only answer. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I look like Stevie. <laughs> Medrick, all right. Who's your favorite? What, what's, a a big, not, what's a big musical influence? And then your top, no pressure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Top influence. Yeah. Top influence autumn. Artists. Like, what, like, just, you know, a couple. Just people that come to your head. I like would I, probably have to say Prince is number one. Okay. That's fair. Um, That's a good one. It's kind of hard to come after that. That's all you Obviously, need to, Stevie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sam Cooke, believe it or not, is yeah. is a big one of mine. That's what's um, up. All right, top five drummers. Wait, 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 before he moves on. Before he moves on, I said earlier uh, Prince to the answer of a question, and he just said Prince. That's rhythm section holding <laughs> it down. <laughs> Bass and drums, baby. Bass and drums, baby. That's all we got. That's all we got. That's all we got. That's all we got.
That's all we got. That's, a, that's an inside joke. Don't you, worry about it. You'd have to know Sheree. Don't worry about it. Never What's mind. Up, Sheree? Anyway, um, top drummers. Yep. That, that's a just you can that's don't, a tough e- one. don't even put them in order. I don't want to make Facebook you. cuts us off after like eight hours. So you Dennis gotta, Chambers. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's got more questions for us. Uh, Dennis Chambers is is definitely up there. Um, Dave Weckl. Sput is yeah. pretty much my mentor. Dice, um, maybe. I gotta say, Cleon, he has a different mind than a lot of people. Cleon's the man. Uh, how many did you say? Five. That's four. You only need one more. God, man, this is one tough, more. man. Dice. Adam Dice. No, t- no. He's saying no. All right. Lee I'm gonna trying to get brownie points over. Here. I'm I'm hey, gonna go with uh, believe it or not, because of the way he plays, he's different from everybody, and that's uh, Lenny Ox Reese. Oh yeah. So, Ox. J3PO. Yeah. Shout out. That's tough for me. I'm, I'm, I'm glad like, he answered so quickly. Seriously, thanks for thanks for putting meds on the spot. I yeah. feel like I feel like somebody should have done that to Cody just for fun. I oh. might actually have to tweet uh, or text. To or tweet tweet text. I might have to text or something. Text a question comment. of my own and force him to answer that That's one. That's fair. Um, all right. So who are you guys most excited to see in person when we're allowed to do that kind of stuff again? Oh my God. Well, okay. So so far we've missed out opening for talk. Ghost note. Uh, an unannounced Sun Scrabby, can I say that? Yeah, Sun <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not happening, so I guess I can say it. Uh, what else have we missed? Festivals, we were going to play with some Spaff boys. So, yeah. Um, Umphreys after party. Umphreys, These are all the yeah. things that we've already missed. Yeah. And we're going to so continue to miss. The Aqueous boys are really fun to play with yes. beforehand. Dopapod's going to come down, and we're going to play. Eli, you're gonna, we're, we're going we're gonna to do this thing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of bands. There's a Pigeons. I mean, Jesus, I want to see my buddies. I want to yeah. hang out. What's the shout-out, Ben? Greg, Jeremy, Gator, what's up? Eric, all y'all. Matt says hello. Cody's in. The answer is Fallout Boy. It's always Fallout Boy. <laughs> <laughs> MCR, maybe. I would have seen that MCR tour. That hey, was dope. I'm just saying, when I was a young boy. Anyway. Uh, who are you most excited to see? Who are you most excited to see? Yeah. Ouch. Um, definitely um, uh, shout out to because uh, I missed them when they when we were on tour. Corey Henry and the you know, Funk Apostles. Oh. Um, yep. Definitely want to see them. Shout out to Tehran. Um, ooh, that, I mean, believe it or not, the energy of Ghost Note with with the crowd. Yeah, we missed out opening um, for Ghost Note. That that three it, shows. I don't think tour. you understand the energy that those two bands pull in. Um, I would have to say Leela Hathaway also um, is Sing definitely her. somebody I want to see in chords. person. And if I can pull her out of retirement, Rochelle Pharrell. There we go. <laughs> Cody, have a real answer? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I don't know if it's already been said before because I was just in the bathroom, but uh, uh, for real cheesy answer, um, all of you guys, I'm, I'm so excited to see everyone. That like, wasn't said. That wasn't said? No, good job. Yeah, I, I really want to see all of you guys. Like, you know, I don't even care what kind of music we see. If you guys come see us play or I'm going to any random cause, I don't even care if it's a senior citizen home, wherever it is. I just want to see you guys, like, (laughs) so bad. (laughs) Yeah, Evan, I don't remember his answer. Our own Alexandria wants to know, what is your favorite song to play? Oh, shit. From us? From our song? Or... Oh, that changes all the time. Uh, um, right now, I yeah, say it in the microphone. No, I'm not supposed to. Oh, oh, I, oh, as are we? Is it as a band or is it? In no, a, I don't know. That's impossible. Ice cold fatty. I just spoke for everyone. I, I, uh, I really like playing spacewalk. We didn't play that tonight. Spacewalk's really fun. Uh, resolutions we opened with tonight, and for the first time, Leland made me call the chord changes in the jam. Yeah, and that was fun. Yeah, that was good. That was really fun. I might have to do that from now on. Oh. Hey, just. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, the Baby Shark. I like playing Baby Stop Shark. It. We no, did play no, Baby no, Shark, no. though. Those kids no. loved it. No. We, we, we did play uh, Baby Shark for a group of kids and jammed it, actually, and it actually worked. But I, I would have to say out of our songs, um, the one that always catches people's antennas, resolutions. So that's one of my favorites to play. It's a lot of fun. Oh, Cody got another one. I don't care what anybody says. Mojo has played the headiest seven-year-old birthday party of all time. Uh, I'll take that challenge. I'll take. We t- we made Baby Shark minor because we needed to jam it. 
Yeah, it was hard. It wasn't hard. You that's just moved the note. Feat, but it was something. It really is. That's, I mean, that's, it got that's it got not real nothing. sad. That's not. No. <laughs> it got like it was a real sad that's baby shark. It was, <laughs> it was having some trouble. Uh, all right, for each of the guys, who is someone uh, who's a current favorite artist or someone you've really been jamming a lot lately? So I'm gonna say people that n- ha- people have no idea of, like Helios and Goldman and these weird ambient musics. So that's what I've been listening to. Lots of soundscapes, blue tech. And then I listen to a ton of Dopapod. I really like Dopapod. All right, there's my answer. Oh, Papadocio, streaming on Thursday. Man, I've uh, been listening to as many people that we've been playing with as possible. Um, so uh, I've been listening to a lot of Steady Flow. Yeah. Steady Flow, those are the homeboys. Can. Um, those are the can. I've been listening to Kudaku. Love those guys. Hold on, comes uh, out soon. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say like every guy, every people that we played with, but like that's that's what I try to do is listen to to all like the homies. Deep sequence. Uh, deep sequence. Monkey's King. Monkey's King. Oh Vintage yeah, Pistol. yeah. We're gonna be playing with those guys very soon. Yeah, like at uh, September 4th and 5th at the Park at Driving Festival. Socially distanced, safe. And that was uh, not a plug. It was a happy accident. It's a hap- it, uh, there we go. It's uh, yeah, September 4th and 5th in Arkansas. Come drive out, hang out. Woo! All right, there we go. That's my plug. You got to answer. I forgot it's the question. A lot of, it's been a lot of Spafford lately. Really? Yeah. Shout out Brian Moss. Shout I'm, out I'm Red. I'm in love with Brian Moss's Jordan. guitar. <laughs> yeah. You hear and that? He's playing in particular, but his guitar is nice too. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, he, they've always been really nice whenever we've hung out with them. They've been, they've been kind. Um, I've been listening to a, well, first of all, if anybody didn't know, I'm a big hip hop head. What? Uh, Hold so, on. So, um, wait. Happy birthday to hip hop today. Um, so, I've been. <laughs> so I've been listening to a lot of Royce the Five Nine. Uh-huh. Um, uh, Don't get me on a that lot Bible of Um A lot of JID. Oh yes. Um, that makes me so happy to hear you say that. Wabi and Cartier. Um, Anderson Pac, of course. Um, I can go on, but as far as live musicians, um, I've been listening to, believe it or not, a lot of Friday's Foolery stuff. Uh, they pull in a lot of energy. Um, I love listening to uh, uh, Mav Tracks and his album. That's out. Y'all need to get it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that's on my brain I can think of. <laughs> I was giving you a beat. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you're looking for new stuff to go check out, you just got like a wealth of, of bands right there to go and, and, and listen to. We didn't have any other viewer questions this evening but of course i have uh, one of my own oh, and tricky. that was uh, that was to ask where can we see you guys next oh there we go what so are we, you doing next we kind of we kind of put that one in there what was that again I oh could, yeah I, it's I, uh, I, maybe the, i wasn't hearing it's, or, it's or listening the park it drive-in festival Ooh. and it is in arkansas it is a socially distanced drive-in fest with masks required yeah plenty of distance plenty of safety they have all the protocols in place and it's with us kuduku vintage pistol Dalton Richmond, Bird, Factory, Deep Sequence, uh, Deep Sequence Monkus King. Monk is King. That's I everybody. think that's all of them. I said them all. Look at us. Yeah, look the at that. The homies. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, just outside of Fort Smith. It's not too bad of a drive. It's beautiful up there, and it's going to be safe, and we're going to be following protocols, and if you don't, you'll be gone. So, you know, that's how it rolls. Let's go have some fun. Right on. Yeah, right September on. 4th and, and 5th. Uh, Mike's been working on getting Kaduku here to do something before they roll through, too. So maybe oh, we can, you know, maybe the we can have a little something, something going the around the coup, the before you guys get up there and, and play. But uh, really Uh-oh. excited to hear that you guys have something live with people in front of you. This, yes. This is such a weird experience doing these kind of things in Artco. Really appreciate you guys bringing the energy tonight. Of course. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed mixing. Uh, and again, I really hardly, I didn't touch anything. So if you didn't like it, please send all of your comments to Evan. And if you <laughs> did... I only fixed like the two or three things that he really messed up. So if, uh, I'll, I'll if tell you, you about like that it, in private John's later. <laughs> credit. And if you didn't, then it's Evan's fault. I'm just kidding, y'all. Uh, no, just really appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to play Art Co. Uh, we're so fortunate to have an amazing band like Trimore Mojo here in our hometown doing what they do. And well, you know, <laughs> be all of that as it may. We're just, we're really thankful to have you guys. So thanks. Cheers. You guys be safe. We love uh, you, John. Show love to each other. Take care. Yeah, I just, r- real quick before we fade out, I just want to say, like, uh, big ups to uh, Cadillac Jackson. Uh, those guys are pretty awesome, too. Arkansas, check them out. We out. Thank you, good night. <laughs>